Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, today we're going to do a little bit more of a fun video. We've had quite a lot of videos that are very technical, but today we're just going to be doing something a little bit daft and something that might be a little bit interesting. What we've got on the floor here is pretty much every size of unicycle we do. Um, and this is a mixture of display unicycles, test mules, Rogers unicycles, just a mix of everything. And what we're going to do is talk about each one showing you what, what it's about, and then I'm gonna have a go at mounting each one so we can see if I can actually get on one. Um, but other than that, let's have a look at this first little one. Eh? Right, so first unicycle, we have this little 16 inch Ringmaster, which I think might be as old as me. I'm not entirely sure, but you can tell by the stickers, this is like really, really old, like unicycle.com stickers. Um, great little unicycle, really tough, um, but yeah. Should we see if I can ride this air? Should we think, do you think I'm gonna be able to get on this? Oh. Yeah, get in. Ta -da. Well, that one works. Should we go on to the next one, which is a bit, little bit newer? Eh? Next unicycle. So this is a little bit of a mixture of a few different bits. This is Roger's personal Eclipse. Um, yeah, it's me again. Uh, am I called Future Nick now? So, Future Nick here. He's mentioned Roger a few times, and obviously, for the context of this video, he hasn't explained who Roger is. So, for people that don't know, this is Roger. Roger is the managing director of unicycle.com in the UK. Um, and obviously, some of these unicycles that we're using for this video are actually his. So, there you go, that explains that. If he does anything else daft, you know that. I'll jump back in, don't worry. So this is a brand new, or the current generation Eclipse frame, but it's got the old generation uh, Eclipse hub and stuff in it. New um, VCX cranks, the nice new rim. And I, look at that, he's even got a carbon fiber saddle on it. He must have snuck that one out. So it's like there's not a lot in it. That's a very nice unicycle. Um, and just so happens that it's my size as well. So let's give this a go. Oh, oh, it's lovely. Oh, yes. So that one's dead easy amount. It's my size and everything. Right, next, we've got a carbon fiber unicycle. So this is a little bit special, special, I should say. Um, this is aluminum pieces bonded into carbon fiber tubes. So that tube there is completely carbon fiber. So are the legs. Uh, and then everything else is little aluminium pieces like the bearing holders and the cranks and everything. Even a, a carbon fibre saddle as well. Um, this is an old school uh, Mayata saddle. Not the most comfiest thing in the world if I'm brutally honest. But yeah, very like there is nothing in that. That's really light. So let's give this a go and see if I can get on this. Hey! Higher. Yeah, it's really light, like crazy light unicycle. Very special. And again, this one's Rogers. This is probably the first unicycle, which is like out of the box. It's getting on a bit now, but this is maybe a generation back Reagent Pro. So it's a 32 mil bearings. Um, it's got the old school Eiffel Tower cranks on it. Um, looks like oh it's got it's it's got a nimbus saddle on it nimbus flat saddle so yeah a little bit of a a mix of a few different things but yeah the studded pedals and nimbus ones as well but very much close to being out of the box should we see if i can get on this oh, oh it's tiny oh oh this is definitely a definitely a Definitely a trials unicycle, that one. But yeah, probably the closest unicycle we've had so far to being the same as what you get out of the box. Minus a few little bits and pieces. Right, uh, don't really know where to start with this one. This started life as a 26 Oracle, so you can see it's got like a red clamp and the red rim. Um, and that's pretty much where that goes away, because this has, uh, I probably better if you can see there, a schlumpf gearbox in it. See that? And then on the other side, if I flip this round, it's got the new brake fast adapter. So the, the actual rotor 
is mounted onto the, the Schlumpf gearbox. And then it's got prototype spirit cranks on it. Um, very, very early generation spirit cranks. And then I believe this has got a 29 inch frame on it. You can see there's quite a lot of clearance between the tire. Um, and then an old school Nimbus saddle. So yeah, very, very unique. And oh, cause it's got a gearbox in it, weighs a ton. See if I can get on it there. Never know, I might be able to change gear as well. Whee! Can you change gear, can you change gear? Nope, I can't. <laughs> it's been quite a while since I rode a schlump, but the idea is, see the button in the middle there, you hit that with your heel and that changes gear. But yeah, interesting thing. I'd like to play with that a bit more, but I don't have a schlump, so there you go. <laughs> right, well, we've got another 26 now, um, but this one is considerably lighter. This is um, an Impact. It, they get classed Impact Munis, but Impact don't actually sell it. They just sell the frame. So this is, the bottom half is completely Nimbus, or so Nimbus Cranks, Nimbus Rim, Nimbus Hub. It's even a very, very early um, three-piece hub from Nimbus. So you've even got the green flanges on. So that's very, very early, that one. Um, up top, it's even got uh, the new air saddle on it, which is ooh, nice and nice and plush, that one. Um, yeah, I love these frames in the in the bigger wheels. They just look nice. Let's give this a go. Ooh, them pedals could do with a bit of a tighten up. Oh. That's lovely, that. Pedals need a bit of a tighten up though, but yeah, good unit seller. And then crowd favorite, a hatchet. Um, this one's a little bit special though, it's a 29. So the standard hatchet is a 26 with a huge tire on, like a four and a half inch tire. Or this is a 29 and it's got a 3.25 tire on it. Um, all fits inside the sort of standard hatchet frame this one's a little bit different as well it's got the one piece aluminium hub in it that you get on like the road unicycles like the oracle 32 and 36s so it makes it like just that little bit lighter um i'm still thinking about that schlump that's what that is this is this seems really light Let's see if i can get on this let me jump yeah yeah oh and the brake works Lovely units out of that. That lovely hatchet frame, keeping it away from your legs so you can have a nice balloon tire. Wow, well, good. Right, now this unicycle, you've probably seen quite a few times on our channel. This is our Display 32 Oracle. I've taken bits off, it was in the unicycle maintenance video. I'll put a link in the top corner of that one. Um, this is as close as you can get out of the box by the cranks being a little bit different. But this is a very, very nice unicycle somewhere between the big 36 and the 29s. Sort of a nice intermediate middle ground. These unicycles are getting big now. I'm gonna have to take quite a big jump to get on this. Oh, oh yeah. It's a lovely unicycle there. And cause it's a 32, you can idle it. I can't idle, idle 36s, but Nice units out of that. And then finally, um, we've got a 36 inch Oracle and you can tell by that super green rim. Um, again, this one is just having a quick look. By the length of the cranks, which are 89 mils, this is pretty much like you would get out of the box, uh, excluding the shadow handle, which is obviously quite nice for the, when you're riding distance. But yeah, very nice units out. It's going to be tricky getting on with these 89mm cranks like, but let's, let's give it a go, eh? Right. Slightly different mount with this one. Oh, no. <laughs> Do I have one more go? One more go. Yeah, I'm more up. Yeah like to say I can mount 36s but look at the size of these cranks 
tiny little things, but great when you go on. And surprisingly, not that heavy for such a big unicycle. And there you go, it's just a bit of a fun video looking at the range of unicycles sort of hanging around UDC. Obviously this is a mixture of display ones, um, prototype stuff and display stuff, but it's just nice so you get to see a, a good range of different unicycles. Um, we do have these things over here, but I can't ride these. But other than that, um, just a nice video, um, something a little bit less technical because we've had lots of technical videos. Um, if you could give us, is it like, it changes every time I ask you, but if you could do one of them YouTube things, it would be much appreciated. Um, and other than that, thanks for watching.